This is a water bear, and today I'm going to show you how to catch one. There are many ways to find a water bear, but I think this technique works the best. There is just one small requirement. It needs to be raining, like a lot of rain. Okay, maybe not that much rain. But what we are really hoping for here is the formation of puddles, especially those muddy ones, because that, my friends, is where we are going to find our desired specimen. After the rain has stopped, the puddles that are left behind bring to life the dormant microbes. And so when collecting the sample, you wanna make sure that you get a lot of this nice rich mud. Cracks and crevices between bricks and rock will almost certainly guarantee you a water bear. Once the sample has been collected, I now use my stereo microscope to identify and find water bears like this one. This just so happens to be my favorite species of water bear. They are perhaps one of the largest water bears I have ever seen. And so they are easy to spot and easy to collect. Using my pipette, I take the water bear and I put it onto a glass slide. This process helps filter out a lot of the dirt and debris that I collected from the rainwater. And it makes for much better viewing when we look at it under the biological microscope. There you have it friends, a beautiful water bear to look at under the microscope. You can see the amazing difference between the stereo microscope and the biological microscope. We can now observe the water bear using dark field technique or bright field with a touch of polarization. That's what causes the rainbow hue shown here. But overall, I think this is the best technique to find a water bear. Finding a water bear this way has never let me down. These creatures are tiny, but they are large in number. They are found all over the world. But for the budding microscope hobbyists such as myself, the tardigrade or the water bear proved to be a very difficult specimen to obtain when I first started playing with microscopes. And I was lucky to find them because someone asked if I could look at muddy puddle water under the microscope. This is a beautiful creature and it's time to put it back where I found it. And so I put it back in the cracks and crevice of the brickwork so that I can save it for another rainy day.